And so Piglet proved himself the true hero he was by helping his friend. Piglet faced his fears, and he was now no longer frightened of heffalumps and woozles. Now it was their turn to run away, as Piglet tried to catch them all. Look at that potion Piglet's chasing. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui101. And welcome back to Let's Play Piglet's Big Game. Today we're doing a special bonus video, in which we're doing a montage of the whole game to do the Bravest of them all challenge, which is a challenge unlocked by clearing each dream. So in this challenge, Piglet is tasked with defeating every enemy under a time limit, and you know how this game is with time limits. <laughs> So the enemies all run away from you using the standard AI whenever you have to catch something, which means they just try to get as far away from you as possible in a straight line as possible. So you can usually corner them, but some of these challenges get pretty goddamn impossible. God, that does look hard. I did cut out a few of my most of my failures, but um, I left a few in just to show what happens when you do mess up. Overall, I spent about uh, 25 minutes on two separate days doing this challenge. The first day I did the first four dreams, and the second day I did the last two dreams. And since this is mostly going to be a repetitive video, I figured we'd uh, spice things up a bit with a little Q&A session. So, we don't answer your questions. So I asked in an episode of Pilgrim's Big Game for you guys to submit questions. And I do apologize if anyone submits a question that doesn't get answered because we were actually recording this a few weeks before this video is going to go up. But, want to get started? Yeah. You guys asked some good questions. Alrighty, so... This first question comes from Fang Grafer. And it says, is there any game that one of you like but the other hates? I have a really good answer to this. Yeah, I don't know. What are you going to say? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm personally a Sonic fan, at least for the good ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty sure the only one Katie didn't hate was Colors. Yeah, I, I, I haven't liked any Sonic game that I've ever played. Except for Colors. Colors was good. Though to be fair, you mostly played bad ones. You also played Secret Rings and Black Knight. <laughs> True. No, I... Um, I do need to play, like, the first one, the first few ones, because they're supposed to be good, right? They're good, but you can tell that they're, like, products of the 90s. They haven't aged especially well in every area, you know? Yeah. But now I, uh, <laughs> not a Sonic fan. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I try to think of, Katie likes some games that I don't like, like, uh, Katie likes Wii Sports Resort. I, Wii Sports Resort is fun. I accept it as a well-made <laughs> game. I just don't personally enjoy it. I don't find it fun. Mm -hmm. I, I find also, it aggravating. I also like uh, simulators. I don't know if you... Yeah, that's like a preference thing, too. I mean, like, I enjoyed Tomodachi Life. I'm never going to go out of my way to play it, so... Yeah. So when you do Bravest of them all for every room in a dream that has it, that message pops up and that just spits you back to the main menu and you select the next dream. Shoot. <laughs> well. It's a little <laughs> underwhelming, but <laughs> hey... Also, one thing of note is during the Bravest of the Mall challenge, every character disappears. So the dreams are extra creepy and empty, especially after you finish it, in which case there's no enemies and no friendly characters at all. <laughs> wow. Um, so next question, also from Fang Grafer. Are there any franchises, movies, or games, we're going to also include TV in there, I guess, even though yeah. you didn't list it, mm -hmm. that you introduce to each other? Mm. Several. Okay, okay, I, I have one. Um, the original pet series... You don't play them, but um, I showed you, I proved to you that the pet series used to be good back when it was made by PF Magic. And uh, but then Ubisoft fucking destroyed the series, and I will be bitter about that for the rest of my life. I'm gonna go off of that and confirm that yes, the original pets games are actually not the butt of every joke on the internet. Yes. They were actually respectable, it, but everyone always thinks of the modern franchise, which is completely different, made by mm -hmm. a different team with completely different aesthetics and gameplay. Pisses me off to no end, because when people think of the pet series, they think of like the, the stupid like Ubisoft thing, but like they used to be good. They were my life as a kid, and it just breaks my heart that nobody knows about them. Um, I choose Katie to Zelda. Yeah. There's yeah. that. <laughs> I choose Katie to most video games, actually. Yeah. Um, and other ones... Uh, Katie introduced me to The Godfather. I did. Yeah. yeah you, you saw that before I did, and you told me to watch it. Uh huh. Um, I, I, I'm forgetting about all these things that I showed you. I introduced Katie to the IT crowd, which is the greatest sitcom of all time. That is true. And uh, Katie introduced me to the lovable train wreck that is Glee. I was gonna say that, yeah. Uh, Glee is easily the worst 
piece of film I've ever seen in my life, but it's so bad in such a unique way every time that I would wholeheartedly <laughs> recommend watching it. Because yeah. it's always impressive what they manage to do wrong on that show, especially because that show actually has some serious potential to be a pretty funny comedy. Yeah. No, I do show Ben good things, but I also show him really shitty things that I used to like because I used to have really shitty taste in, like, TV, movies, and games. That, that's because you were, like... <laughs> You fell for, like, all the marketing that goes towards, like, young teens, who are like, Ooh, look at this sweet romance couple. <laughs> yeah, I was really lonely. <laughs> um, and then, final question from Fang Grafer. Are there any single-player games that you two want to play together on this channel, but for some reason can't? I, I have one answer, uh, and that would be Shadow of the Colossus. That is my favorite game of all time. Mm. And I would love to play on this channel, but I think it's kind of too serious a topic for the kind of stuff I cover on this channel. Because, like, we play a lot of goofy things. Like, Piglet's Big Game, it's terrifying as it is also really goofy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shadow of the Class is just, like, a depressing, dark, and violent game. It's a great game, but, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, plus, like, isn't it supposed... I'm pretty sure it's a lot more difficult than Piglet's Big Game. It is more <laughs> difficult than Piglet. So but, I don't know, I probably wouldn't be able to give good commentary trying to focus on something like that. And then, this is a more technical reason, but um, any game that runs at 1080p 60 frames a second, I'd rather not do on this channel simply because my capture card maxes out 1080p 30. Mm -hmm. It can only do 60 frames a second with 720p or less. And I like to record games in the best quality possible. Yeah. So, um, until I get a better capture card, games that run in 1080p 60 or higher, I will not be doing on this channel, unfortunately, because I am a quality freak. <laughs> That's true. He is. Um, <laughs> next question from Ethan Anderson. Would face cam videos become a regular thing on this channel? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no problem doing face cam videos every once in a while if it's relevant. Like if we're doing a Kinect game, I'll do face cam videos. We actually recorded uh, one to Switch, and I don't know if it's going to go up by this time or not, or if it'll be up in the future. But that whole thing was done with Facecam, because uh, once you switch is a game that's not really based around the gameplay on the screen, it's more about yeah. your real life actions. Yeah, that's what makes it funny. <laughs> so I'll say, in, with games like that, I'd have no problem doing Facecam. If I re if we uh, redid Wii Sports, I'd consider doing that as Facecam. Mm -hmm. But that will never be like the main format of the channel, because I don't really think it adds a whole lot to a Let's Play video. Because if you think about it, our fate is going to be staring blankly at our screen most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too expressive unless I'm trying to be expressive. Exactly. Yeah, me too. So, um, it would really just take up a corner of the screen where gameplay could be. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this room is ridiculous trying to get the, uh... Ooh, my god, look at that. Trying to get all the, uh, half lumps and woozles and... God, I spent like five minutes on this room alone. Look at them running from him. Like, they know that Piglet's a killer <laughs> now. There's not a doubt in their mind. I know. <laughs> Um, so now we got a whole slew of questions from, uh, Psychocotix. So the first one is, what is your dream car? What is your dream car? Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Every car I've driven has just kind of been given to me by family. Me too. My, my dream car is a car that takes me from point A to point B. Like, I'm just not a car person. I don't really <coughs> like driving. I think it's boring. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll say this. I thought driving was boring. Was yeah, not boring. Boring. <laughs> I thought driving was boring, but then I learned how to drive a stick, and I find it a lot more enjoyable than driving automatic transmission. Because mm -hmm. there's something to do. It's interactive, so I do enjoy that. So I guess my and also it's more gas efficient. So I guess my dream car would probably be something along those lines. Yeah. But uh, I like uh. I like leather seats and a sunroof. I mean, but like I don't really care, you know. Um, next question. What is your favorite soda and, if applicable, energy drink? Ooh, ooh, oh. Mm, maybe Cherry Coke? Cherry Coke is, is the bomb. Uh, for <laughs> me, favorite soda would be Dr. Pepper. Oh, I am, really? I had no idea. <laughs> I am a uh, caffeine addict, but I don't drink coffee. I get my caffeine from sodas, and Dr. Pepper is my soda of choice. I actually get migraines if I don't drink uh, caffeinated sodas. Like every day. Uh, sometimes <laughs> sometimes I get migraines if I don't drink like two or three in a day. I know it's not good for me, but... <laughs> you should have seen his dorm room. Like, there were just cans of Dr. Pepper covering his desk. It was so funny. So, uh, this room's also really hard to get all the woozles in. What room is this? This is uh, outside Eeyore's house. Oh, yeah, it's Halloween Town. Yeah, this one... Oh, good times. That one's really difficult. <laughs> um, oh, this will be a fun question. What was your first kiss like? I'll let you go first, because I think your story's more interesting. Okay, well, um... Uh... 
my first kiss was uh, not Ben. <laughs> it was uh, someone else. And um, it was we were slow dancing at his prom. And... <laughs> I can say his first name. He's not going to watch it. Uh, I'd rather not, but, um... <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> so we were slow dancing, and he, like, leans in to kiss me, and since I had never been kissed before, I had no idea what to do, and I'm, like, the most awkward person in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> when he kissed me, I kind of just stood there, and I didn't really kiss him back because I didn't know what to do. So it, he was essentially just kissing a brick wall. <laughs> the same guy. It's really awkward. <clears throat> the same guy later tried to like ask Katie out on dates and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Katie said no, like, I, I know this guy. He does. He's not douchey at all. But like, he was really like like surprised that someone rejected him. Uh -huh. He's a little conceited, but like, he's also not very intelligent. And I fully believe he he doesn't mean any harm at all. Yeah. And like, he later asked Katie, like, like, are you lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> he was so like he could not believe a girl would reject him. He's got like a lot of dates with a lot of different girls, and yeah. he was just so awestruck by that. And he didn't mean that to be mean or harmful. He legitimately thought that that has to be the only reason. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's an innocent guy. I like him. Yeah, he um, I I got the feeling that he liked he was more into me than I was into him. So like obviously it didn't really work out. I like broke things off before we got serious or anything. We went on like one date and I was super awkward the whole time. <laughs> um, so my first kiss, because I'm assuming whatever cheek kiss I gave to Joanna in eighth grade doesn't count. <laughs> um, awkward. Uh, so my first real kiss would actually be Katie. That was my senior year of high school. Because uh, after... This is a story I need to get into sometime in the channel, but like after my freshman year I had like a whole disaster and I was just like, nope, I'm done dating with high school, I'll try again when I'm an adult. <laughs> and I actually did make it to being an adult, I wasn't one of those people who changed my mind a few months later, I was actually pretty serious about that. But, um, <laughs> so my first kiss was Katie, that was at our elementary school actually, because we both went to the same elementary school. Yeah, we were chilling up there. And it was really, I kind of leaned in to kiss her, and she didn't really look interested, so I kind of leaned back out. I'm really awkward. <laughs> and then Katie was like, oh no, you can kiss me. Okay, so I want to talk about this room. I actually leave in my failure here for a very specific reason, and that's because there's actually two woozles in this room. The basic woozle, and you'll see briefly on the left here, in a minute or two, a uh, hide-and-seek woozle. Mm -hmm. You'll see him right... right there. See him? Oh. But there's a reason I left that in. Because when I reloaded the room, so there I failed. I didn't get the potion in time, so the potion just dissipates. Hmm. When I come back, you hear the sound effect for the hide-and-seek woozle. So I'll let you hear that. And then immediately after, you hear the sound of the potion being collected. What? He despawned. And now there's only the basic woozle in this room, so I got it. And that's how I beat this challenge. <laughs> because the game glitched. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so back, back to my story. So then, like, I, I did kiss Katie, and everyone's first kiss sucks. Yeah, there there were no sparks. There were really no butterflies. It just, it's just lips. Just awkward. Because <laughs> you don't, like... I mean, we knew each other, but we didn't know each other so too well, so... I don't know. Because uh, we point, had just started dating. At this point in the video, this is footage that was recorded last night on uh, June 27th. Everything prior to this was recorded back in March, I think? Oh. Yeah, I record this months in advance. <laughs> wow, getting it done. Alright, Psychocotics asks again, what is the hardest video game you've ever completed? Well, I think Katie has an answer for that, even though she's technically hasn't completed it yet, she's on the final well, boss as of, like, yesterday. Yeah, a month ago, I would have definitely said Yoshi's Island. Like, no question. And Yoshi's Island is a really hard game, by the way. Yeah, but now I would say Sly Cooper. That game is really hard. <laughs> Uh, that game is hard your first time through. Once you get a feel for it, it's super easy, but mm -hmm. like, yeah. on an initial playthrough, that game is incredibly difficult because one hit kills you. Yeah. Like, you need to really get into the groove to get good at that game, but that mm -hmm. said, I mean, I, I guarantee you if you played it again, Katie, you'd be a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Because you know what to expect now. Mm -hmm. And like... But that said, the mini games are still really difficult, and you haven't even done the Master Thief sprints. Those are impossible. Wow. God, I don't know if I'll do that. But like, <laughs> I recommend you try a few of them. Yeah, I like. And I would, oh, here I wanted to show that's what happens if you don't get the potion, and uh, they don't become a potion, they just dissipate into like a pink mist. Oh, okay. So I want to show that off because it wasn't shown anywhere else. Yeah, and like I would definitely pick Sly Cooper now over Yoshi's Island just because Yoshi's Island was more or less the first real video game I ever played. So of course it was 
like it's already a difficult game, but it seemed <laughs> exponentially harder than it would be if I played it now. I actually gave it to Katie because I'm like, oh, this is like a little kids game. It's easy, and like I hadn't played through the game start to finish in years. It's one of my favorite games ever, but like I gave it to Katie. And I was like, oh, it's easy. And then she kept telling me how, like, it's not easy. And then I went back and I was like, holy shit, this game is hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how did I ever finish that as a kid? Yeah, I know. It's pretty difficult. Right. What about you? What's the most challenging game you've ever completed? I can interpret this several different ways. If you mean just main story, um, probably Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Mm -hmm. If you're talking in terms of 100%ing it, there's still different ways you could call it difficult. Like, for instance, Super Smash Bros. 4 is very difficult 100%, but that's also because it was very luck-heavy. Mm. You had to wait for the right, di the right uh, dice rolls to get the unlockables you needed. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Um, honestly, 100% is like Cooper's a little difficult just because of the Master Thief sprints, but I don't know. It wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be going into it. Mm -hmm. Getting a uh, Platinum Trophy on the PS3 version of Shadow of the Colossus is pretty hard. Um, because that required you to do the time trials in that game, and uh, there's a few specific ones in hard mode that are difficult. Hmm. But even then, I, w I wouldn't call that the hardest, that's just something that's popping to mind. It's like, I have like difficult parts of specific games. If I had to say the all-time hardest thing I've ever done in a game, it would probably be Melee. Specifically, mm, yeah. the, uh, you don't actually even get a trophy list, you just get a notification. That's for beating Adventure Mode on the hardest difficulty with one stock and no continues. I did eventually get that. <laughs> the only things I'm missing in Melee are the three trophies you can only get with hacking, the notification that you get for getting those three trophies with hacking, and the notifications for playing both 100,000 and 1 million matches. And if those count, then Melee is impossible to 100% as far as I'm concerned, because I think there's only been one person who's ever legitimately gotten the uh, 1 million matches played notification. Mm -hmm. And even then, they <laughs> cheated with a turbo controller. They just <laughs> held down, like, the start button to keep starting new matches for, like, years straight or something like that. They, like, get taped down or something, because that's, that's just not possible again in a lifetime. But uh, if that counts, then definitely melee, just because of that one notification you get for beating Adventure Mode in the hardest difficulty with one stock and no continues. <laughs> um, what is your favorite condiment? Hmm. Mine would be ketchup. I love yeah, ketchup. That's... I put ketchup on my pizza. <laughs> you have a shirt that says that you put ketchup on your ketchup. I do have a shirt that says that. <laughs> What's your favorite condiment? Um, maybe honey mustard? I don't know. I hate mustard so much. <laughs> or sweet and sour sauce. Either of those, I can't pick. Ooh, I like them both. Sour cream's a great condiment. Sour cream is good. Mm -hmm. I love that with like a burrito. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> it's good. All right, uh, how many pants? <laughs> I have one on. I have, I'm wearing one pant. Just one leg? <laughs> No, they're both so, legs, but they're like half pants because so they're shorts. I just I just panned over the boat there to show off the fact that there is no Bravest of the Mall challenge for the uh, final level. Oh. This file, the final level, has been completed already, even though we haven't actually uploaded that video yet. Because that'll go up next next time. Um, and then finally, last question from Psychocotix. What is your favorite curse word? Hmm. What's yours? Mine would probably be bitch. <laughs> it's just very applicable. It's very easy to say. It rolls off the tongue really well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, I would say bitch too, but I don't want to say the same thing as you. <laughs> What's your next favorite then? Maybe shit, because it feels really good when you say shit. Like if you're like really angry, but like at the same time you can say it when you like stub your toe or something. <laughs> I just, Has, uh, uh, yeah. It's very versatile. Has a lot of use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a funny question, because this morning I had fuck the shit stuck in my head. <laughs> That's a great song. That is a very good song. Um, now here's a question from uh, Fang Grafer that we did skip over, because I wanted to only answer this at the end if time allowed. And that is, uh, what are your thoughts on the lines and voice work you did for uh, his Final Fantasy Let's Play? And would you change anything if you could? Well, I'd change something. I'd make you actually use my goddamn lines, because you didn't use mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what would yours be? Um, who did I, I played the, uh, princess. Yeah, Princess right? Sarah? Yeah, um, I, I don't know, I thought I did a good job. Maybe, like, I could try it, like, an accent, but, like, I suck at accents, so that might not be good. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna just play, like, a few of my clips right here, because I had some pretty solid, uh, voice work done. Bird in hellfire. Nighty night. Eh. 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 
All right. Um, now our final question, and uh, this is from Jellyfish Lagoon. He Best says, question. He says, "I have a really good question for the Q and A, and it's, do you like jellyfish?" Well, first off, that's not a very good question. It's mediocre. <laughs> um, second, I, I think it's a good question. <laughs> I think jellyfish are uh, very cool to look at. I like that. I wouldn't want to actually touch one though, because I want to get wouldn't want to get stinged. And in the case of SpongeBob, I love the buzzing noise they make. It's like ASMR. Mm-hmm. As someone who has been going to the beach her entire life, I fucking hate those bastards. Jeez. <laughs> Strong words. They, 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 I don't care. Like, if something eats them, they can find something else. I'm sure they don't have a strict jellyfish diet. I wish all the jellyfish would die. All they do is float around and hurt people. <laughs> I mean, they, it, they also eat smaller things that you wouldn't want overpopulating. Yeah, but the, the, I'm sure other things eat them. Maybe, maybe not. I just think jellyfish are so pointless. They're ugly, I hate them. <laughs> this is a uh, really cool room, I think, for this challenge because of the maze layout. So it's oh, yeah. very, it's difficult to even figure out where the next half lump is, because you can hear the direction through the uh, stereo sound, but you can't actually, like, just find them, you know? Uh, because, like, you can go down to the bottom left, but you have to go around through the maze to actually get to them. Hmm. That and uh, that wraps up the Q&A stuff. We have about two minutes left in this video. Um, I kind of want to return to the hardest video game question because I'm not content with those answers. Hmm. For yours? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like I've done harder. I don't know. Mm. Well, Zelda 1 was really hard, but in all the wrong ways. I was told bullshit. I hate Zelda 1. Mm. <laughs> what about... Hannah Montana, the movie, the game, we didn't complete that you that. can't even finish. We didn't complete that because there's one point in it that's just 100% luck and you need the dice roll to be in your favor. I think it's 20 times in a row. Yeah. That game's horrible. We should let's play that up to that point then just quit. Because it's unbeatable. I don't think they made anything past that point. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, they put that there because they didn't actually have an ending. <laughs> um. It just blacks out. <laughs> if, if you ever beat it. I don't know what my what the hardest game I finished was because I played a lot of like games that were hard because they were shit. Mm -hmm. Like, like Sonic 06 is hard, but that's just because half the time the game doesn't even work and you just die for no reason. Yeah. Um. I don't know. See, I'm not I'm not entirely certain what I'd say my answer is for that. You've played a lot of games. Okay, so this is the final room, and it's also, in my opinion, the hardest to get. The trick to this, you want to go as wide around this turn as possible, like I am there, in order to lead the jackpot heflump into a little corner by the terrifying piglet box. If he goes into the upper right corner there by the fence in the red booth, you can't get him as far as I'm concerned. Oh. It's ridiculous. But there you have it. Bravest of the Mall Challenge is complete. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and uh, upon being finished, like every other time, it just boots you back to the uh, main menu, which is still the coolest menu in the world. You are the bravest of them all. It says that after every uh, dream you complete. And uh, your prize is nothing. The game doesn't even acknowledge that you got them all, <laughs> which is really <laughs> underwhelming. Because this game is fairly polished for the most part, so that, that kind of sucks. Here I'm just showing off that I have indeed finished the Bravest of the Mall Challenge in every dream. As far as I know, I think this is the first video on YouTube to do that. Yeah. So I couldn't find anyone else who's done this. So thank you all for watching. This has been Fabulous Fish. And Katatui 101. We'll see you next time for the final level. Bye. Yeah.